Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make big tail with cannelli beans. And I'm going to show you the, uh, the ingredients that I'm going to use for this dish. Okay, here I have the onions and pepper. Here I have a Spanish root. This is optional if you want to use this or not. This is what I have in here is malanga, jotilla, and yame in there. And here I got the potatoes and I got the, the squash. And I have the sassones. I have two because I'm going to use one for the Spanish root, like I show you this right here. I have basil. Paprika, garlic, onion, cumin, pepper, pine, rosemary, cilantro, sofrito, olive, garlic. chicken bullions and I had uh, pork fat and here's the beans that I boil on this is not a can this is not a can of beans this is uh, the, the beans that come in a bag like this okay and I had the pigtails right here they're already tender they cook for an hour and a half the same as the beans. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start adding one tablespoon of oil. I'm going to add the pork fat. We got to fry that first. It's optional if you're going to use the pork fat. Now, if you're going to use the pork fat to fry it, you got to put it in medium heat and put a cover and a lid, like I'm going to show you now, because you like to pop, you know, the, the oil you like to pop on it. So, you, you don't, letting you know like that you don't get burned. It's optional if you want to use it or not. So see now I'm going to uncover it and I'm going to add some of the sofrito, not the whole thing, just a half a spoon. Remind you, this is my mother recipe. I didn't tell you before, but you know, this is my mom. This is how my mom used to cook um, the pig. This is one of her recipes. Now we're going to add, uh, I'm going to add the beans. Some of the juice of the beans. Okay. The 
onions and the purples inside. I forgot to fry the onions, but it's okay. Let's add the sofrito. Cilantro. The garlic. A pinch of rosemary. Pinch of thyme. And paprika. Is that one four? Pinch of cumin. Cumin here. Just a pinch on. Basil, the same. Pinch. Pepper. You can add more pepper if you want, if you like it spicy. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Onion powder, the same thing, one teaspoon. Okay. Let's add the potatoes and the pumpkin. The olive. More water. I want to put it here a little, a little more higher. I want it when it's, I want it to see when it start boil. When it start boiling. That's when I reduce the heat reducer to medium. So now I'm going to add the pigtails. Some of the water. Water. Pigtails. I'm going to add the sassone. One, you can add salt as you taste. Okay. So I'm going to let this to boil. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make the, the Spanish root dumplings to put in here. Okay. How good it looks. Okay, you had the uh, Spanish, like I told you. I'm gonna make this little dumplings. It's optional if you wanna use it or not. I'm gonna add a sazon in it. A whole one. And you can add salt if you want. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon. Of flour. Stir it. Even sofrito. You can add sofrito, whatever you want to want to add on this. The seasoning that you want to add, you can add it. So I'm waiting for my stew. This, that is like a stew anyways. <laughs> to boil, to add this on. I'm going to eat it with white rice. This too, I'm going to eat it with white rice. You can eat it whatever you want. You can even eat, you can even eat it plain if you want. See? So it's ready. Put it in the pot. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it's boiling now, so I reduce the heat to medium. So now I'm gonna add the Spanish roots dumplings. There it goes. Give a good flavor to 
this kind of stew. We call it guisado in Spanish. This is a guisado. Tiffy and beans guisado in Spanish. In English, it's stew. Pigtail beans stew. This is a real, real good dish. It was one of my father's favorite. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll be right back when this is done. So when you're making this kind of dish, you got to keep an eye on it. You know, you just come and check every five minutes so all the time. Well, anyway, you got to keep your eye on it. You know, make sure it's... Oh, I forgot some... I forgot an ingredient. I forgot the tomato sauce. I'll be right back. Here's a tomato sauce. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of tomato sauce. Okay. And I'll be right back, guys. As you see, my pigtail cannelli bean stew is done. What delicious that look. I'm going to eat it with white rice. I'm waiting for my rice to be done. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's done. The big tail cannelli bean stew is done. And this is how it looks. More rice, carrots, and asparagus. I love my veggies. So now I'm going to taste it. I'll be right back. Rice, get another spoon. So two. I can have to all of it, but I got that. Here goes. Let's see right here. Mmm. Delicious. Oh my god. This is the Spanish dumpling right here. You see it? Sure. Mm. Delicious. If you like this this video, you like this recipe, like my page and subscribe. And thank you for watching. God bless you all. It's the best dish you ever taste. But it's good. It's really good. Thank you.